What's going on internet? I got another technology related video for you today. Today we're going to be talking about this guy. This is the C922 ProStream webcam bundle. It comes with the C922 webcam and a tripod. Uh, it's on sale right now at uh, Big Box Retailer, I'm not going to name which one, for $79.99. Uh, this webcam's got some cool features, but is it better than the C920, which I currently have? We're going to find out. <music> All right, so here we've got the C922 Pro Stream webcam. Uh, up here at the top, the webcam I've been using for tech talks, things like that, is actually a C920. Is the C922 any different? Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna do a little, little bit of an unboxing here. So right here up front, when you open it, we have the webcam glaring you in the face. This right here is your important part. That's the web camera. So this is everything that's included here with the uh, webcam in the box. You've got your C922, a tripod, and then some paperwork and in this paperwork is a code for X split. All right, so this box, when you're in your retail stores looking at it, has pretty much all of the important information that you're gonna need to know. Full 1080p at 30 frames a second, 720 at 60. Uh, it has um, H.264 compression, which is important. That's kind of kind of the go-to standard nowadays. Uh, background replacement and then automatic low light compensation. Now, you can't use automatic low light compensation and 60 frames a second. They don't work together, so you have to turn that off. All right, so here is my tried and true Logitech C920 webcam. And up here, you can see my C922. Don't don't mind the, uh, the Rycote liar up here. It broke, so it's sitting on top of the radiator to cure the epoxy. Gotta do what you gotta do, right? Now, one small thing to notice, the C922 sits a little bit higher up than the uh, C920, which is actually kind of nice. I, I prefer that look. Um, but the overall physical dimensions are the same, so you can still use the privacy cover from the C920 for the C922. All right, so here we are. We're testing the C920 right there. And we are going to switch over to the C922 right now, mid-recording. Boom, there you go, C920. C922. All right. Um, as far as sharpness goes, C922, you win. You're sharper. Um, the C920 is not bad, but C922 is much, much, much sharper. Now let's see if we can figure out how to do the remove background. Now in order to do the background removal, you can't use just the native Windows drivers. You have to download ChromaCam by Personify. And that is a software package. Now, unlike the Razer Stargazer, unlike the webcams that use Intel RealSense technology, this does not use 3D depth mapping to remove your background. This is all software controlled, so it does shape recognition and things like that. Um, now, does it work? Well, I'm gonna install the software package here. We're gonna find out. Now, this might date me, send me a little bit farther back in time than I'd like to go, but whatever. Back in the day, there was a Logitech webcam called the Orbit. Now, it had another model number. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it was a Logitech Orbit that had pan and tilt in the webcam. It was motorized, and you could either put it on its base or telescope it up. It was kind of cool, and it had a caricature feature where it would recognize your face really poorly, and you could move around and talk, and it would try to keep up and do, like, a face on your face that was talking. Now, the webcams have come a lot farther um, using Intel RealSense technology like the Razer Stargazer and FaceRig that allow you to basically, in real time, uh, act out a 3D model of a character with uh, you know all the nuances. There's a lot of videos out there, you can check it out, but it's pretty interesting. Now, the C922 does not use Intel RealSense, it's software for background removal. I don't think you're gonna get as good of a background removal um, as you would using green screen and chroma key or using the Intel RealSense 3D depth sensing webcams like the Razer Stargazer. So we're gonna see how well this thing works. Da ha, got it. So what you have to do in OBS Studio to get all of this to work is you have to set this thing to default uh, your settings. You have to do default video. You can't change any of that stuff because then the Chroma Cam doesn't open up. Okay, and we're down here in the corner, down here in the corner of this video, down there. Uh, you can see that it, uh, it removes the background. It does what it says it's supposed to do um, with, you know, reasonable accuracy and speed. It's, it's not amazing, but there you go. It, it does work. And the uh, lighting looks pretty good. I'm assuming if I had a frontal light, this would work much better um, in differentiating. So let me close this down. Ooh, dude, that's not enough light for it. 
Okay, let me open that back up. Uh, see, that's a little bit better. Yeah, so obviously the more light that you have, the better th it's gonna work. Okay, so the plot thickens. Now it's working in OBS when it wasn't working in OBS before. I don't know. It... So here's the caveat. It doesn't like OBS 64-bit either, so keep this in mind. I'll talk a little bit about this in the end, but OBS is really picky with the uh, software for the background deletion. XSplit seems to work better, but XSplit's paid, so I'm hoping Logitech and OBS will work this out here in the near future. So just keep this all in mind. As far as video quality goes, the C922 right here is much, much sharper than the C920. The audio is the same. They're both not very good because they're webcams. Um, now, the important thing is, is, should you upgrade from a C920 to a C922 for the background removal? If you have adequate lighting, sure, but it's not going to beat a green screen or a chroma keyed background. It's, it's just, it's not going to happen. So, that's something to keep in mind. Um, and if you're having issues with it coming up in OBS Studio, what you need to do is set the uh, camera settings in OBS to the defaults. You don't want to try to use custom resolution or anything. Because remember, in OBS Studio, you can scale on the fly to fit where you want things in your stream layout. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much more to say about it. It's a webcam. It's on sale right now at a big box store. I'll probably put a link down here so I don't have to say their name. Because I used to work there for quite some time. And it was fun, but... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, that's going to do it for me. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Tell me what you didn't like about it. If you did like it, leave me some feedback and tell me what you'd like to see more of. As always, thank you guys for your support, and I will see you all around.